वेलकम बैक टू डॉक्टर अणिमा उपाध्याय केमिस्ट्री लैब वीडियोस एंड इन टुडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द वेरियस पॉसिबल क्वेश्चंस दैट कुड बी आस्ड व्हेन यू आर डूइंग द एस्टिमेशन ऑफ कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड इन द सीमेंट बाय रैपिड ईडीटीए मेथड सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग द टाइम लेट अस स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन एयर What is the experiment assigned to you today in the lab? I am performing the estimation of calcium oxide in the cement by rapid EDTA method. Why are you calling it a rapid method? It is a rapid method because the complex formation takes place instantaneously. Is this a complexometric titration? Yes, this is a complexometric titration. What is the full form of EDTA? The full form of EDTA is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. Which solution are you going to employ in today's titration? I will prepare a standard solution of disodium salt of EDTA. Why you will take disodium salt of EDTA and not EDTA? The disodium salt of EDTA is soluble in water. whereas edta is sparingly soluble in water therefore i will take disodium salt of edta to prepare my standard solution once the solution is prepared what will you do with it once i'll prepare the standard solution i will fill this solution in the burette can you explain briefly the procedure of titration yes Once I have prepared the standard solution and filled in the burette, I will pip it out 25 ml cement sample in a conical flask from the sample bottle, to which I will add 5 ml of glycerol, 5 ml of diethylamine, and 10 ml of 4 normal sodium hydroxide. After which, I will add a few drops of Patton's and Reader's indicator. and the color will turn to wine red once the color has changed to wine red i will go to the titration table and titrate it against the standard solution from the burette the color at the end point will turn from wine red to clear blue i'll record this reading and go for the next trial to get a concordant value very good so now tell me what is the role of adding glycerol glycerol is added to the cement sample to get a sharp end point why have you added diethylamine the diethylamine was added to the sample because i wanted to adjust the ph to around 12.5 why have you added sodium hydroxide then sodium hydroxide i added to mask the magnesium ions which are always present in the cement sample how have you masked the magnesium ions by adding sodium hydroxide by adding sodium hydroxide the magnesium ions have reacted with it to form magnesium hydroxide so though they are present in the solution they are not available to form the complex with the indicator or with the edd so what is masking masking means the ions are present in the solution but they are not available for reaction very good so now tell me why have you add, why have you added patents and readers indicator why not aerochrome black tea i have not taken aerochrome black tea because the aerochrome black tea can be successful only up to ph 10 or 10.5 but in this experiment i am adjusting the ph to around 12.5 so aerochrome black tea does not work at a higher ph between 12 to 14 therefore i have used the patterns and readers indicator why the color has formed wine red after the addition of patterns and reader indicator the color has become wine red because of the formation of a complex between the calcium ions and the indicator 
why the color changes to clear blue at the end point at the end point the color changes to clear blue because the complex formation between the calcium ions and edta takes place and the indicator is removed from the complex its place is taken by the edta so the color which is shown at the end point and it is blue is due to the free indicator so what is the color of the calcium ions with the edta complex the color of the calcium ions with the edta complex is colorless okay now let us talk about the cement because you are saying you are determining the calcium oxide in the cement what is cement cement is a binding material which is used in the construction works and it is obtained by calcining limestone and clay in a rotary kiln okay what are the constituents of the cement the cement is a mixture of oxides of calcium magnesium iron aluminium and silicon what are the major constituents present in the cement the major constituents in the cement are calcium oxide and silica what should a good quality cement has the percentage of calcium oxide a good quality cement should have around 70 to 75 percent of calcium oxide remaining should be silica and other constituents should be present only in traces what is the role of gypsum in the cement is it not a constituent gypsum is added to the cement as an additive it is not a constituent in the cement what do you mean by additive additive means it is added once the cement has been manufactured so it comes out from the rotary kiln as small granules which is called clinkers when we grind these clinkers at the time of grinding gypsum is also added to the cement how much gypsum is added to the cement for normal regular cement around 3 to 4% of gypsum is added but for a quick setting cement 2.4 to 3% gypsum is added what is the role of gypsum in the cement gypsum acts as a retarder it's it retards the setting time of the cement why we want to retard the setting time by retarding the setting time the final strength of the structure is very good and therefore gypsum is added what will happen if gypsum is not added to the cement if gypsum is not added to the cement it will start stiffening as soon as the water is added to the cement which will affect the final strength of the structure what is the formula of gypsum gypsum is calcium sulfate dihydrate that is caso4 dot 2h2o what is 2h2o 2h2o is the water of crystallization what happens when you heat the gypsum to around 100 degrees when the gypsum is heated to around 100 degrees it loses most of its molecules of water and becomes heavy hydrate that is calcium sulfate 0.5h2o what happens if it is further heated to around 140 degrees if we heat this to around 140 degrees it loses all its molecules of water and becomes anhydrous calcium sulfate which is also called dead burnt okay could you tell me some of the names of the cement yes i know white cement ordinary portland cement the high strength cement that is pozzolana cement which is also called pozzolana portland cement ppc also high alumina content cement and the blast furnace cement very good so now we have talked about most of the questions that could be asked when you are doing this experiment if you have any more questions feel free to leave them in the comment box 
Till then, keep watching and learn more about the experiments through Viva Vosi questions. Don't forget to share and like my videos. Thank you very much.